A quick round up before the Apple event next week and I'm excited but at the same time also not so pleased with what is going to be announced and here's why. For the event next week, there are likely going to be three major announcements from Apple. There will be the iPhone 13, the Apple Watch Series 7 and the AirPods third generation maybe a pro or most likely is a hybrid between that and i'll talk about it more later so let's talk about iphone 13 first iphone 13 is going to be similar in design to the iphone 12 and there's going to be again four types which is included in the mini surprisingly it's not selling well so largely similar in design with one notable change which will likely be the smaller notch uh, apple has not gone the notchless or even the hole punch design which i would have really hoped they would come out in this generation but most likely we will see in the next generation or the iphone 14 unfortunately yes we have to wait again apple is very slow at that but well can't help it uh so they will likely be only a smaller notch but the iphone 13 will also have upgraded cameras especially the ultra wide camera which will have the ability to receive up to 40 percent more light so again i believe it's also one more thing there'll be an auto focus function in ultra wide camera currently there's only auto focus available in the normal wide camera so the ultra wide doesn't have it so i really hope that the ultra wide also has a auto focus system for its camera next will be the pro motion display of 120 hertz the ipad pros already have that promotion display for a long time so with this generation hopefully iphone 13 comes up with the pro motion display which will likely be at 120 hertz but throttle when throttled to 60 hertz in low powered mode but once you have that 130 hertz you can really see the silky smoothness of the display so if you have been using an ipad pro you will be able to appreciate the difference between that ipad pro with the 120 hertz versus the 60 hertz otherwise Yes, Apple is still very good at keeping their displays smooth, but with 120 hertz, they can make it even greater. And one thing that might be interesting to note is they will have a larger battery, but not giving you better battery life. That will be because mostly of the ProMotion display that will be drawing more power. So with a larger battery to cater for that difference, but in terms of usage, it will still largely be the same. Now let's talk about the Apple Watch Series 7. This is the thing that I'm probably be most likely interested in when they are announcing it next week because it's going to be a major design change they're going to be doing it similar to what the iphone 12 or the ipad pros design is that means they have this clean uh, square squared off shape looking design which i think will tie nicely with their entire range of products now so that is the one that will likely be the main change on the apple watch series 7 health sensors unfortunately will probably still remain i was hoping for either the blood glucose monitoring or even better the blood pressure monitoring system which i would definitely wish for them to have that but at this moment the health sensors probably have some upgraded processes involved but that's about it is the main thing will be the design change and of course uh, a newer processor but that's expected with every uh, new product launch from apple so again the apple watch series 7 will likely have a design change only as a primary difference maybe better screen technology or hopefully better battery life but that's let's just wait out and see what happens next week one more thing would be the watch size would likely be increased from the current 40 and 44 mm to 41 and 45 mm finally we have the airpods generation 3. Well, this is a very interesting product it's like a hybrid of the airpods original airpods and the airpods pro it will have the airpods pro's shorter stem but with a butt that looks like a airpods pro but without the ear tip so it kind of has a mishmash of both uh, airpods and airpods pro so I guess it's one they want to fit into another targeted audience who wants to have the fit of the original AirPods, but at the same time having the technology or the improvements on the AirPods Pro. I doubt there will be um, noise cancelling because of the ear tip less design. It may not provide a seal that is 
good for ANC performance. But well, let's see what happens next week. Pricing should remain the same and AirPods 3 design change will be the key feature. Uh, to be honest, I don't think it will work for me. I've never been able to get the original iPods to fit nicely in my ear. Only the AirPods Pro could have done that. So, well, let's see what comes next and uh, I'll be sure to get my hands on it and then test it out and stay tuned in this channel for more reviews on all three of the products that I've mentioned. Okay, that's it. That's a quick run up for what's going to happen next week. There may be other things like maybe iPad mini, even the new low cost budget iPad. But let's see, uh, I'm just looking forward to attending the keynote. But unfortunately, yep, some of the items that are coming out won't be exciting to me, except for the Apple Watch. But I hope that something might change and I will see you in the next video. And do like, do subscribe and continue to hit that notification button so that I can produce more videos like this. I'll see you.